you are with Gina and Zoe and as always we're happy that you're here, we're happy that we are here, we are um, always looking for any opportunity to talk about God, Jesus, Holy Spirit and the prophetic, aren't we Zoe? <laughs> oh yeah, so, so great and I loved our little conversation in the last um, podcast about mm. talking about the glory of God and what is the glory of God and we just even want to remind you today, more freedom for you in your day, you know, to keep... Um, becoming aware of what God is doing in your life and in his presence and so yeah we just love you guys we love that you're here with us and we um we just really want to invite you to look up us look us up you know look not look, look up us but look <laughs> us up <laughs> look us up at um the table yeah. so our website is www.thefeasttable.com or one word um, and it should also be a link in the in mm. below, but um, in our podcast. But you know, have a look and see what we do. You know, Jenna and I love um, our heart is um, people at heart, so that's why we're so glad you're here with us. And you know, to encourage you to um, understand how God's speaking to you, and then also being able to speak to others um, and encourage them with a prophetic edge. Mm, right? So good. Yeah. And and it's so exciting because. So neither Zoe or I are, um, no, actually, I'll, I'll word this differently. I think that um, it's really easy to look and see people who are really evangelical and who are um, really great at going out and spreading the love of Jesus to people and really being um, bold and brave in that way. And um, I probably can't speak for you, Zoe, but by nature, that's not me. <laughs> and I wish, I've wish i always wished that it was. Mm. But you know what? God's just been showing me in this journey with Zoe over the last few years that actually we don't all have to look the same. And just because I don't feel super comfortable doing things that other people do that um, I've felt guilty about... Um, in terms of wanting to bring people into the kingdom and show mm. them who mm. God is. Um, but actually he's given me a heart and a passion and a really strong desire to connect people with his spirit, mm. to see them free, to be able to hear him, to be able to um, know what that looks like in their life and to be able to walk in that freedom. And mm. I know the same with you, hey. So yeah, completely. It's just, you know, it really is life-changing. Mm. It really is life-changing once you can grasp a hold of the fact that because it's not selfish it's not something you know Zoe and I don't sit here and in our homes desperate for God to speak to us um personally all the time Mm-mm. of course I want him to speak to me and he does and mm. same with you but yeah. the reason that we want it is because we want to be able to pour his love out on others yeah we want right. it we don't want it for ourselves because we know him and we we have got that privilege of coming to the throne room of God. Mm. We know that, that we have mm. the authority as his children to do mm. that. But we want to know what he wants to say to those around us. Mm. Oh, I love that so much. And I think, Jenna, when I look at my life, I'm looking back at my personality. And, and I know that's probably why you're here listening to us as well. Something about you. I started to uncover that. I was just a natural encourager. Like, I think, mm-hmm. you know, you might be saying to yourself, well, I'm I'm not prophetic or, you know, I don't, you know, I'm, I'm interested, but I don't think that's me. And I started to uncover and God started to show me, teach me that, um, you know, someone who's prophetic, there's something naturally in you that just loves to encourage other people. So and that's a start. So I know for many years I've tried to find avenues where I can, bring out the best in other people and mm. um, speak speak good words over them and um, I actually didn't realize that that was actually a gift that God had put in me and it's wow. part of this part of this prophetic gift and and then maybe discovering later on it has a name but really we don't want to put names to anything you know we we you know this is who we are we we speak life and mm. so it's really um it's really interesting to understand that there is something within us already. Like we keep saying, you know, mm-hmm. there's something in us. God just continues to call out our identity as we get to know him a bit more. So it's been so cool understanding that um, that's someplace I started, but then God could use that gift and um, show me how to use it as a powerful, actually a powerful weapon yeah. to bring freedom to myself mm-hmm. and to bring freedom to other people's lives. So... Wow. Yeah. And how powerful that it just doesn't have to look. I mean, even just you and I, um, 
it's not the same, is mm. it? Mm. You know, we were talking the other day about how Zoe and I were talking the other day about how there's a real like warfare warrior mm. um, prayer side of you, mm. and um, but my most intimate times with God would be more like that real silent, real peaceful, gentle because. That's what I need in my life, mm. and that's the way He's designed me, mm. and that's what you need, and that's the way He's designed you. Mm. You're a fighter, mm. and um, <laughs> and I love that. I think that what is so key when we're talking about God, when we're talking about mm. um, how He relates to us, mm. it's just so key to remember that He's designed you exactly as you are for a reason. Yeah, He doesn't want you to hear Him how Zoe and I hear Him. Yeah, He doesn't want you to hear Him how your husband or your wife or your friends hear him mm. but actually he wants to meet you exactly where you are if you could see me i'm waving my finger around in the air right now <laughs> it's quite a show you really should see it <laughs> she's got tears in her eyes her fingers pointing out i don't know about i would call you the warrior right now come on sisters <laughs> keep speaking it keep speaking it i just feel so passionately about yeah. this zoe that come on we can live our lives in comparison and it robs us from yeah. what he's actually given us. Oh, no. And oh. we try to be like others when actually he's he is saying, you listener, you Zoe, me Jenna, that there are people in your life that the way that they will meet God is through you mm. being the way that I have created you. And it's, it's like not a... something that feels pressure. There mm-hmm. shouldn't be, I'm yelling now, there shouldn't be pressure in it, should there? Mm. You know, like I think the moment that we start living out of expectation or out of pressure, mm. we're stepping out of where he's actually called us. That's right. Hey? The kingdom of God is righteousness, mm-hmm. peace, and joy. And that's, that's, where right. we, that's where we move from. We move from those places when we're in peace, we're in joy, and we're in that right standing of who we are with God. Oh, gosh, Jenna, that is just so good. And um, so let us just help you as well to understand that, um, that you can actually start to step out in, in the prophetic mm. by understanding more of this gift that you have inside you you know like you yeah yes you've been encouraging people but actually um you're not just speaking idle words they're actually supernatural encouragement hey mm. we talk about it a lot don't we jenna mm. we say it isn't flattery but supernatural encouragement designed to set people free and bring out the best in them mm. oh. i think that that's been a really big one for me mm. yeah and i think not even for me is in how I've experienced it but mm. in um, how I've seen others experience mm. it mm. that you can tell when you're talking to somebody and you feel prompted to say something mm. sometimes um, like I think I said the other day about working in the glasses shop mm. sometimes it'll come from nowhere it'll just mm. be mm. you know but you can tell that what you're saying is actually straight from the heart of God mm. and um, mm. it's actually I like to think of it like picture in the spirit, in the atmosphere, yeah. right? You know, yeah. that there's actually, you know, we know that our battle is not against flesh and blood. Mm. And when we're speaking these words of encouragement, we're actually like fighting off the. Um, now I'm going to be talking all about the warrior stuff, aren't I? <laughs> I've seen that before. <laughs> this is a great example of how God gets our attention and corrects us. <laughs> Maybe He's telling me to focus, you know, yeah, to yeah. talk to Him about that. Yeah. But, <laughs> but um, you know, it's like when we're speaking this, we're not just puffing somebody up no. but we're actually fighting away the lies we're fighting away the attacks of anything that's come to try and tell them mm. otherwise mm. and we're creating a space for them to be able to hear and see truth yeah come on and we've seen this time and time again and mm. oh gosh nothing brings us more joy than um in our little mentorship groups which we love love we love, love so much and um when we see somebody not just only receiving a word for themselves from others but also being able to give it there's Mm. something incredible that happens when we allow the holy spirit to flow from us it brings us to life it just sets us free and i think it's like you know a a tap being open and it just you know once it's closed there's nothing coming out of it it was all sealing up all that goodness but once it's open Mm. everything can just stop pouring out and then god can give you so much more so like and that's i was just going to say that that's some of probably I would say that some of the um, most common feedback mm. that we get, so the mentor groups that we run are um, up to five people, plus Zoe and I, and we do them on on Zoom. So we meet once a week for mm. five weeks with these five people, and um, they're all strangers generally at the beginning, mm. friends by the end. And um, 
the most common feedback that we get is I cannot believe that what I said meant something to that person mm. or mm. you know and often it's actually really specific yeah. and speaking right to something that they've been mm. questioning or wondering or hoping for mm. and you're right looking at the person who's just received that word is beautiful because they're in shock that God <laughs> would know their heart so well. <laughs> and then looking at the person who spoke the word is even more unbelievable mm. because they can't believe that God would let, use their mouth because mm. they thought they were just saying something that seemed obvious. Mm. But it's not obvious because mm. nobody else saw that. Mm. 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 It reminds me, I think, Havilah Cunnington often talks about when she used to watch her um, father. Um, he's, he was prophetic and he used to meet... Um, and in Bethel, I think I'm not mm-hmm. quite sure of the exact church, but you know, she just taught he taught her to just say what you see, what's obvious about the person, yeah. And like, what are you actually seeing on people? I always love that what you just said, and yet sometimes we don't even know what we carry, and it's so good to have the body of Christ around us to encourage us, to lift us up, and don't we now more than ever need others around us to give us that encouragement to push us forward and mm. um and bring out that goal that is within us and notice stuff that's in our lives that we don't even you know we we may have we have an inkling but um we're just trying to get our grip on it you know so i think so you know good. like um you know the it, the prophetic when we speak that word it brings into focus the treasures the precious the gold in people's lives oh jenna i have to just share this testimony quickly because it's so cool so one day i was um I was praying and I think I was just having like a bit of a worship session I can't remember what happened mm. and this sometimes happens to me and like I might be doing my my worship or praying and then suddenly something just shifts in that moment and I know okay God's gonna mm. gonna do something and I yeah. just felt him like I know it sounds weird but like I, I felt like he stuck his hand into my heart mm. and when he pulled it out um he, all these gold nuggets were like <laughs> in his hand <laughs> oh my goodness oh. and it was like he was showing me the gold like that was within me there's gold wow within my life and um yeah I don't know that was just I don't, that was so just an did, encouraging testimony yeah I was just thinking so how does that now seeing that what do you what do you do with that you know, like how does how does that mm-hmm. <laughs> put you on the spot here? But um, how does that change things for you, or how does that change your thinking, or what does that make you think of when you think of that again? Like, mm. do you think just mm. that encouragement? Do you know, at the time when it happened, I was just so blown away. Like, what this treasure within me, mm. you know? And um, I know maybe you're thinking that today, like as well. Like, mm. what is there any treasure in me? Is there any gold in me? And, there wasn't just like one nugget there were lots of nuggets okay and I know my husband's a bit glued I was going to say he's a bit glued at watching this gold diggers every day on I don't know, what's it called on TV at the moment we've got this program where they're digging up gold it's fascinating and um, and you know like I when in my picture the gold nuggets were all like not evenly shaped like you might think about gold little gold bars they were kind of odd shaped Mm-hmm. nuggets I suppose you know yeah and now uh, looking at the promo it's, it's, you see how gold is not like perfectly shaped it's no. all these little um you know uneven bits of stone almost yeah. you know how it looks and um rock, yeah. yeah and I suppose that's that's really impacted me but what that was also pointing to was where my life was going to go like if I look back yeah. in that moment now God was almost speaking prophetic in me and saying look I'm going to show you the gold in your mm-hmm. life and you're going to bring out the gold in other people so what a moment I think yeah, that is. <laughs> it, yeah, that's beautiful. And I'm just thinking as well that, you know, even within that, because here's the other amazing thing about God, and I know we've talked about this a bit, but that was something that God showed Zoe, but Zoe's testimony there is, you know, it, um, it actually releases freedom and prophecy to the next person. Mm. So you, you seeing that that's how God sees you, well, that's actually not, you know, that that is for you, but it's also for me, isn't it? That, mm. you know, and that um, I'm just thinking of that program and how, if you haven't seen it, go and watch it because it's very funny. They, if they find, like, they use metal detectors, and if they yeah. find like the tiniest, I think sometimes they call them like, oh, I got a Grammy, like a one gram yeah. <laughs> little slither of, of gold, and they get so excited because that of the value of it. Mm. It doesn't matter how small it is. Mm. 
And then they like taking dirt and like rotating it and washing it and whatever to get all the mm. little fine little dust shrapnel because it, even the tiniest little flecks are valuable. And so how does that, you know, God speaking to you, is pulling out these big nuggets. It's mm. like not only, uh, you know, is everything like he, he showed you that there's treasure and there's gold within you, but in, it's like incredibly valuable. Like yeah. in real life, they would be worth like, Tens oh, yeah. of thousands yeah. of dollars. Yeah, hundreds of thousands when I think about the size of them now. Yeah, yeah. you know? But, you know, that's what God's doing in, in your life too. You mm. have, each of us have a treasure, this treasure within us, this gold within us. And um, I love how the prophetic just pulls out that gold. And, like, mm. yeah, I've learned to do that in my own life, see it for myself. Other people have done that, and then we can do it for each other. So remember that we, we call out the gold by... Um, you know, we'll just end off with the scripture. I know we, mm. but, um, you know, 1 Corinthians 14, 3, it says, but when someone prophesies, he speaks to encourage people, to build them up and to bring them comfort. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So just know that um, even you, as you go about your week, that um, those words, that, that gift that you have to encourage others, it's a powerful mm. thing. Yeah. Don't underestimate speaking words of life mm. because... They're not just words. You know, the power of life and death is in our tongue. Mm. And when we take the moment to encourage and to build up, um, it's more, I think it's just far deeper than what we'll ever know. Mm. So mm. go and do that. Have a bit of a practice. Mm. <laughs> and, and you know, that could look like even asking God if you're going to be meeting a friend or talking to somebody today. Just ask him, um, is there anything you want me to say to them today? Or... Maybe it could look like saying, God, just um, be in the conversation, which he is anyway, and um, and let what needs to come out of my mm. mouth. And you might just be really surprised at what you find yourself saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so good. And I mean, even on a practical note, uh, Jenna, something that we use as a tool, I, I know mm. I use as a tool to um, to get started, you know, mm. like in, in this journey of giving out something to encourage somebody else, is looking up what that person's name means, yes. you know, like it's so good. So you can even start with that. So you're meeting, you know, your friend today. Have, go and have a squiz at what their name means. And maybe that could even, you know, you could just drop it in conversation. Wow, you know, yeah. you're just really, it's full of life today, Zoe, because I know your name means <laughs> life. But, you know, you might think it's a small statement, but when you're saying it, it's changing things yeah. and it's really um, bringing out that gold. So Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. So be encouraged and... um as always, we would love to hear from you. If there's anything you want to uh, pop us a message about, we always love getting messages from you. So um, lots and lots of encouragement from us. You're doing a great job wherever you are. And um, we're so excited to be on the journey with you as you step more into hearing what God's saying over you and over your life. Mm. Talk to you soon. Mm.